New Commanders GM Adam Peters has officially made his first move of 2024 free agency, bringing in former Dallas Cowboys edge rusher, defensive end, Dorrance Armstrong here, reuniting him with his former defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, and then also Joe Witt Jr. from his time there in Dallas. He's now a Washington commander with the first uh, move of the commander's offseason here. Really, really good stuff here, in my opinion. We'll be breaking down this move here in just a second. But before we get into that, make sure you guys click that subscribe button because every time Adam Peters makes a move during free agency this year, more news can come out at any moment. We're going to be going, uh, we're going to be giving you guys a free breaking news video right here on the channel. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button to never miss a move over the first week of NFL free agency. So let's break down Dorrance Armstrong, the newest commander here. He's going to be playing, I would assume, edge rusher for the commanders, even though Dorrance is more of like a true like 3-4 defensive end, a 5 technique. He played there quite a bit for Dan Quinn there in Dallas last year. He's had 16 sacks over the last two seasons. Obviously very familiar with the defensive structure that Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr., the new defensive coordinator here in Washington, are going to be implementing. And obviously they have a high level of belief in Dorrance Armstrong at this point. And because of that, I feel good about this, all right? I think that whether this is the number one edge rusher spot for them or whether this is the number two edge rusher spot for them, uh, in their eyes, I think that this guy is a very productive uh, edge rusher when he's out there. Uh, and I definitely think that he's got the ability to provide production at a decent price. Now, I will say right now, as I'm speaking right now, we do not have contract details in terms of years or money, but producer Coop will put up the details uh, throughout this video or later in this video if we get the updates as I'm filming this. Again, this is breaking news as it is happening. So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. What is your one word reaction to the news of the Washington Commanders making it a priority to sign Dorrance Armstrong early on day one of NFL free agency. This will be the pinned comment on today's show. So share with me your one word reaction when you guys get an ad break here. And before I give you guys my one word reaction, I want to tell you about today's sponsor at prize picks go to prizepicks.com slash clns or download the prize picks app and then use code clns for a first deposit match up to 100 dollars today football season may be over folks i know i'm just as disappointed as you are but the action on the floor with college and professional basketball is just heating up it is march after all whether it's tournament season in college or the fight for the NBA playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of the year. Get in on the excitement with our friends at Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app in the United States of America. So you might be asking yourself, Jack, how does prize picks work? Well, here's how you play. You pick two to six players, and if they'll go for more or less than their prize picks projection, you can even win up to 25 times your money on any entry. This is one of their NBA basketball uh, projections that we have here at Chat Sports. You can do points. You can do rebounds. You can do assists. You can do minutes played. You can do over-under. they got a bunch of different stat types, a bunch of different players to choose from every single day, and you can make money. And this is this one right here, that, that's actually a demon, which is a harder-to-get projection, but it has a higher payout. So if you know ball, you want to make some money, prize picks is perfect for you. With prize picks, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks. To get started right now, download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more or pick less. It's that easy with our friends at Prize Picks. So, my one word reaction to signing Dorrance Armstrong is strong. All right. I think that this is a very good signing for Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr., Adam Peters, and the like, because I think this guy extremely fits this defense like a glove, man. You look at his stats over the last four seasons there in Dallas, and it's been some really good stuff, especially over the last two or three seasons or so, all right, because you got the seven and a half sacks last year. You had eight and a half 
the year before that, all right? This guy also stays healthy. You guys can see that, 17 games played. So Dorrance Armstrong has been one of the most consistent defensive ends in the National Football League over the last two seasons. And Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr. want those kinds of guys on their defense. And I am absolutely here for it. He's also relatively young. So when we get those contract details, I do expect this to be a multi year contract for Armstrong. Now, I don't know if they're bringing him in to be their number one edge rusher for next year or as their number two, but regardless, this is going to be a solid pickup for the Washington Commanders, all right? He is a very, very productive edge rusher in this league. He also has versatility to play on the inside at five techniques. So if they want to get exotic on third downs and they want to get a little bit smaller and get faster on the field on the defensive line on those third and long situations, Dorrance Armstrong can kick inside, and that's that versatility is definitely something that Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr. are looking at right now as a very valuable chess piece. I really don't think this is going to be the only edge rusher signing for the Washington Commanders at this point. I do think they will make at least one other signing at the edge rusher position this year, and I would still love to land Daniil Hunter. We still don't have uh, word on where Hunter's going to be going. The Minnesota Vikings did sign Jonathan Grenard today, uh, so that pretty much takes them out of the running for Daniil Hunter at this point. So that's good news for the Washington Commanders. And there's obviously going to be a ton of teams bidding for Daniil Hunter's services. I think the reason why we haven't heard about Daniil Hunter is because there are a ton of teams with interest in signing him, and there's a bidding war going on right now for Daniil Hunter's services. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if the Washington Commanders are right in the thick of that battle. And listen, man, if you sign Daniil Hunter, who had the stats that he had last year, man, uh, I think he had like 23 tackles for loss, 16 sacks. I mean, this guy was an absolute monster last year. And you combine him with the versatility and the production of a Dorrance Armstrong as his number two on the other side of the defensive line. I think that, you know, Daniil Hunter and Dorrance Armstrong is a very good duo to replace Montez Sweat and Chase Young with. Of course, Chase Young and Montez Sweat ended up getting traded last year at the trade deadline. So you need to address both starting edge rusher positions this year if you're the Washington Commanders. You take care of one here with Doris Armstrong, which is something that I think is a good move. But for me, guys, I'm still hunting for Daniil Hunter here if I'm the Washington Commanders and I'm looking to pay him a pretty decent salary here. Uh, could get up to $25 million per year for a guy like Daniil. So let me know down there in the comments section. Grade the signing of Dorrance Armstrong. Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. For me personally, guys, I don't want to give a grade to this until I know what other moves they make. If they're bringing in Dorrance Armstrong to be a versatile number two edge rusher that can also kick inside, I think this is a really good signing, especially if you get him for a good price point. But if he, you're bringing him in and you're paying him a lot of money to be your number one edge rusher, that changes my feelings quite a bit because I don't think Armstrong is quite at that level. I think he's more of a number two guy. I think he's more of a rotational piece. I don't think he's a true number one uh, edge rusher in this league. And I don't think, and if that's the case and that's what they're bringing him in for, I'd probably have it more towards the C or D range because I don't think he's that kind of dude. All right, that'll be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, uh, break it, breaking it down with us here uh, in NFL free agency. If they continue to make moves and they continue to sign players, we are going to have you covered with wall-to-wall -wall coverage of NFL free agency for your Washington Commanders. So make sure you click that subscribe button to never miss a move this offseason.